Welcome back to NAB Show Live 2015. I'm Alex Lindsay. And I'm Leslie Samuel. <laughs> I didn't catch you that <laughs> no, time. No, you didn't. I got you first. Yeah. <laughs> We're here with Jeffrey Garland yes, from we Camera are. Go. And That's correct. And something big here. And I know, the but bigger but it gets, the more excited I get. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to leave that one alone. The, um, so the, the, uh, uh, the first thing that I have to ask yes, you, though, go is, ahead, is ask it. where did the name come from? Yes. Basically, I was trying to find some kind of logo that would really tell people where this thing can go. I made this so it would go anywhere, on the side of a mountain, in the water, underwater. It can level on any terrain. And that's, I needed something that would really get that across. Camera goat can go anywhere, or a mountain goat, I should say, will go anywhere. And the payload that they can handle, you know, it's, it's, they're pretty big. Thus, the camera goat. Fantastic. So what Sounds are we, good. So this is a, you know, a, your basic roller system. Yep. But, it's, but it looks like a kind of a gnarly version of it. <laughs> so I come from a Hollywood background. Right. Okay. Uh, so I needed something that would hold big cameras all the way from IMAX all the way down to no budget world of like GoPro DSLR. Mm -hmm. Uh, Although I, you will, I will admit, a GoPro on this would look kind of funny. <laughs> it looks a little funny, but you know, uh, it works. It works. There you it go. really works. So basically, everything that you see here is plug and play for anyone. Okay. Uh, I, I have a Mitchell mount on the top of it, which is industry standard for any kind of O'Connor heads and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But then we offer, also offer a 150 millimeter ball head adapter, and then a 100, and then a 75, and then a hi hat adapter. Right. So any camera head will fit on our system. Mm -hmm. If you look at the tubing, this is actually 6061 aircraft aluminum, so it's super light and super strong. But it's also the same size tubing as speed rail, which is industry standard in Hollywood as well. Or if you're not in Hollywood, you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and actually get top rail fence tubing, and it will fit in these same slots. Top rail, I gotta note that. Top rail, there's been a lot of times when I went to go to Lowe's and I was like, what do I get top instead of three rail? Top rail fence tubing. Fence yeah, so tubing. If you're, yeah, so like chain link fence, it's the yeah. top rail in that. So it's the same thing. So a lot of times I'll travel with just a case with my main components, which are these bar bridges, okay. and then the tray. I show up on location, I get my tubing, I shoot. Once I leave, I put everything back in the box, leave the, the tubing. The tubing. Yeah, so this fully in a case is 45 pounds. So it, you can travel with it and not get. You can check it. You can check That's it. That's with all of these right. compartments? With all of the components, the yeah. Components. Okay. Yep. So the other thing that kind of sets me apart from my competition is I don't use tripods or combo stands. Okay. I use the same speed rail for the legs. So now right. I have independent leveling of e each leg. So I could be mm -hmm. on the side of a mountain, just like a mountain goat, and I could set it up and still level it and on there's a any level terrain. Here. There's oh, a level, there's right yeah. Here. So there's okay. bubble levels on both. Uh, bar bridges, okay. right. and then obviously I level on my head. And so then you, you can see that you can individually <coughs> control the height of yes. these rails. So okay. uh, wherever the legs land could be at different uh, heights, and you could still level. Right, and, and the uh, and then you would if you wanted to do a longer run, I imagine you get a certain more of these uh, support. Yeah. Support so uh, what I found is every ten feet I have to add a bar bridge, okay. and then ten feet. So the longest that I've had this is forty feet long, oh, wow. and ten feet in the air. I've had it also underslung with really big heads. So it's very, very sturdy. And, and how do you deal with seams? So, okay. so you're, gonna buy, you're gonna get this, you know, you're gonna get a long segment and you're seaming those up. Do you, are you able to do that? We, seam we actually have a proprietary butt connector that we can roll over our seam and not feel it. Oh, nice. So wow. it, as you can kind of see right now, my trolley will keep going. If I had more rail, all of this will pass through. Right. So you could make it really as long as you want. It's modular. The thing is, is again, IMAX to GoPro. I've had 350 pounds on this unit. There's never a camera out there. I've had a 12-foot jib arm on here as well. It right. can hold that. So I'm curious about how smooth it runs. OK, so that yeah. runs very smoothly. And, and, and what, that's, it that's will come exactly off. what I was going to ask <laughs> will, there. So basically, if you want to break, I just kind of took this uh, safety off okay. so that that's I could show you that it would go all the way down. Okay, so good. I actually have two safeties on both sides, and I also have a break. The one thing with the safeties are is now it will not topple, okay. and it won't go off the end. And then I have my break here. So it all depends on what uh, application you're using, short or small. Okay. And you're good. Awesome. That's great. And uh, 
And then how much are these the bridges? So how do you how do you buy this set? Yeah. So basically, I sell this as individual parts because if you're a really budget conscious person, you're able to go out and buy your own tubing to save you some money. Okay. So all you really need is my two bar bridges and my tray. Uh, for that right there, uh, and all the adapters, along with a case that's all custom co uh, foam cut, you're talking $2,000 for the big one. I actually have a small one that's just 50% scaled down from this. Okay. Right. So geared more towards a DSLR, mar DSLR market and right. someone who's uh, hiking deep into the backcountry mm -hmm. or needs to travel extremely light. On that model, the tray is 50% scaled down, the bar bridges are 50% scaled down, and the, the tubing two, is, is the one inch. Oh, okay. Right. So my tubing size drops as well. Okay. The this system is forty five pounds. The small system is about thirty pounds. And the price on the smaller. The system? small one is fifteen hundred, okay. which includes two five foot rails, four four foot legs, and then four two foot legs, able to give you a high mode and a low mode. As you see it right now, I'm able to operate flat on the ground, mm -hmm. or as any height in the air. A lot of my competitors are using combo stands or tripods, which mm -hmm. we all know can only go so high mm -hmm. and only go so low, and they're very expensive. This tubing is a lot stronger, and I have a lot more versatility with it. And, and how, much, how expensive is the tubing itself? Uh, if you were to go to Home Depot, it's not going to be 6061 aircraft aluminum. Mm -hmm. right. It's going to be galvanized steel. Okay. You can get a 20-foot piece of top rail fence tubing, and they'll cut it for you you're probably talking $38. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's great. So I go in if I'm traveling, and I don't have access to speed rail. I go to my first Home Depot. I get two pieces of 20 foot. I have one that they cut in half. Now I have two 10 foot rails. Mm -hmm. And the other one, I have them cut into fours. So then I have my four legs. Once I'm done with the chute, I leave it, get back on a plane with just my items. And I'm, again, it's under 50 pounds, so I'm able to check it. Yeah. So, so some more stories. Where are some of the cool places that you use this? <laughs> You know, I've used this all over the world. Mm -hmm. We've been at the beach in Cabo. Right. We've been in Maui, mm -hmm. all over California, all over the states. Can you this tell us of any of the craziest, craziest shoots that you've been on with this? Uh, the craziest? Right now, it's on Chicago PD. It's on right. Chicago oh, Fire. Nice. It was on Sirens. Mm -hmm. And it was also on Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll with Dennis Leary. Mm -hmm. Again, I have a background in cinema. So right. the biggest thing in my career was Batman or the Dark Knight. Right. Awesome. So that's, again, how I know it will hold IMAX. Because that's what you were holding. All the way down <laughs> to <laughs> GoPro. Nice. That's yes. fantastic. It, it looks like a, you know, it, it definitely looks, what I like about it is it's very modular. And, yes. and I do a lot of traveling. Yeah. Okay. So I spend a lot of time in a, on, in a plane and being able to get something compact. Yes. And also something that I can very easily um, rebuild. We do a lot of the same thing. We go to Home Depot, buy some stuff. Leave it behind. You know that's that's pretty Perfect. pretty common. Try to find f try to find a good home for it. You know. Uh, yeah. You know. And um, but that is something that that is very very important. Uh, uh, all the stuff is made. You you make it all or is no? It, so where is it, where, where basically my first model I made three years ago, and it was all store bought stuff. Mm -hmm. Speed rail, clamps and dice. That's real makeshift. It was DIY. Yeah. Uh, from there. I used it for about a year. I made this for myself. I didn't make this for anyone else. Yep. I needed it to be able to hold big cameras on one day and small cameras on another mm -hmm. and modulate to sizes depending on my application. Right. So from there, I took it to an industrial designer, which then we came up with this design of the bar bridges, and it checked off all the boxes of things I needed it to do. And basically, this is my fourth generation, right. and we've only used real-world real world testing with uh, union cameramen because those are the people in my camp. I trusted them. They could give me real feedback. And each little thing that they came back, we just made little tweaks and changes. Like for one, like I, this tray right here, it looks like it's just a normal tray. But I can take off all of my safeties and all this hardware. And then now I have what I could put on the front of a car with some magic arms and some suction cups. And now you have a front mount plate or a uh, side mount plate for a lunch tray. Right. So it's Depending on your application, this should do all of it, and you should never outgrow it. Yeah. Right. So we're made in the U.S. Uh, I employ 60 American workers when we're in production. And, yeah, that's kind of it. 
That's awesome. Where awesome. can people find you here in the, in the show? I'm in the North Hall in the startup booth. Uh, again, we are a brand new company. Yep. If you call or send an email, it's going to be me answering <laughs> the phone. I actually have my father work in the booth with me oh, today. There you go. Right. Yeah, he's cheap uh, labor, and <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, he's been part of the whole process to see it. That, that uh, so I'm in the North Hall at 7138 in the startup loft. And if I you want to find you online. If you want to find me online, you can go to camera goat. Dot com. I bet you that I bet you there wasn't a lot of competition on Easy that one. Easy to remember. You know, I, I, I did one search and was able to grab that domain name really quickly. <laughs> That's a surprise. So yeah, cameragoat.com. <laughs> That's great. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks a lot, thank guys. You. And thank you. We'll be right back with more at NAB Live 2015.